Your future should always be bigger than your past. Today I'm gonna to share with you a couple of steps on exactly how to make that happen. Whether it be in our real estate business or in life in general, one of the biggest things and the best thing that I can see that most people do that are successful is, is they're excited about their future. They're planning for their future to be bigger than their past. So what I wanna do today is, is I wanna go through and I wanna share with you a number of steps and things that I focus on to make sure that not only is today the good old days, so to speak, but that the future is brighter than we could ever imagine. First step in this process is to start where you are and then really to figure out exactly where we are. I know sometimes we don't Take the time to really review what got us here. Where, why are we in this position? And what do we do, whether that's successful or we're struggling a little bit, what is it that we can do from here going forward that's gonna make a difference? So this is really a process that starts with a couple of steps. Number one is, is understand exactly where you are. What is it that has brought you to this point? Where are you? Are you in a good position? Are you in a position where you're playing from behind, so to speak? When you understand exactly where you are, now we can begin to chart where we're headed. That leads to the next step is, is let's review what got us here. What are the activities that you did on a consistent basis to get the results you got? Whether they're good or bad, what are those daily activities that you did or you didn't do that got you exactly where you are? And now understanding where we are, understanding how we got here, now let's chart about, let's chart a path on where we want to go. What is it that you want your life to look like, your business to look like one year, five years, ten years from now? You know, most people really, they exaggerate or they overestimate what they can do in one day, but they underestimate what they can do over time. And all Ultimately what happens is, is that it comes down to building on a daily basis the activities to fill in that will get us to that place that we want to be in the future. So what is it? Once we understand where we are, what got us here, what we, where we want to go, now we can begin to backfill the activities to understand where that is. In real estate, it's pretty simple. We understand that 50 real estate related conversations get us one transaction on average. So we can begin to say, okay, well, if I want 12 transactions, then I need to have 50 conversations per month or whatever it is for you. So if we're charting a path on where we want our business to go into the future, we can begin to backfill those daily activities. So to review, the first step is really understanding where you are, how you got here, and where you wanna go. And that leads into number two, which is to focus on the leading indicators. The leading indicators are the daily activities that are gonna generate the things that we're looking for into the future. When we're thinking about this, think about it this way. A lot of times what happens is, is that we'll begin to want to see the point where we're headed, but we don't know what to do on a daily basis. So what are the things that really will lead to that? Those are these leading indicators. There's a great book called The Four Disciplines of Execution. My friend, my mentor, Gino Before, really has inspired instilled this into the entire organizations at, at Home Services of America as a way to understand that we can predict our future if we'll take care of the daily activities, those leading indicators. So what are those leading indicators for you? It could be a number of different things. It could be that I'm going to make a certain number of phone calls today. It could be that I'm going to send a direct mail piece. I'm going to do social media, video. I'm going to host open houses. Whatever those activities are, those leading indicators for you, because they're different for everybody, when you understand what those leading indicators are, now it's a matter of putting them into place. And that leads into step number three, which is really crucial, is to do at least one of these future leading indicator activities on a daily basis. And ultimately, if you want different results, you've got to do more of those. And there's seasons where you're going to do more of these, but at least one of them on a daily basis. Listen, the future is coming whether we want it to or not. So what are we going to do in preparation for that future? I'm going to use the word coming as an acronym for the activities, these leading indicators that we know that we know are going to get you those results you're looking for. Let me just start with a C in coming, which is content. Content. What is it that you're doing that is going to produce results, not just now, but into the future? Video. This is a perfect example. I'm shooting this video actually on a Sunday morning when no one else is in the office, and I'm doing this in a way so that maybe three years from now, maybe five years from now, someone can see this video and get some value out of it. In other words, I'm doing content that has the ability to continue to add value to people and to my business into the future. So what is that for you? That could be social media, it could be video, it could be writing blog articles or articles for a local magazine or e that's out there that's actually producing content that's gonna be seen into the future. Whatever it is, when you focus on a leading indicator of content, I'll promise it doesn't just generate results now, it does into the future as well. The O stands for overstudy your market. By understanding and overstudying your market, you will have the ability to be able to communicate into the future what's happening now 
now in a place, in a way that's historical that gives you more value to your future clients as well. So have you ever gone into a test, maybe back when you were in school, where you just overstudied and by the time you got to the test, you were so confident that you went in there and you just killed the test. It was a hundred, you made a hundred on the test. Our real estate business is very similar. Overstudy what the market is doing right now and it not only helps you now, but it gives you the ability to have a historical value into the future where you can say, well, back in 2023, the market was doing this and now what we're seeing gives us the opportunity to do X. This is what we're talking about. Be the most educated person in your market. Not only does it help you now, it helps you in the future as well. The M stands for making friends. Now listen, I'm not doing this in a way that's just trying to generate business, but ultimately the better our relationships are, the more opportunities for more business we're going to have. Also, when we have deeper and more relationships, it just broadens the ability for us to go out and to connect and network with different people. Some of the people that I see that are the most productive and the best agents that have a thriving business that continuously grows are the people that are focusing on having more and better relationships. Focus on making friends without an agenda and I promise everything else will take care of itself. The I stands for improve yourself. Listen, you can't pour out of an empty bucket. What is it that you're doing to make yourself the healthiest you've ever been? What is it that you're doing to prepare yourself mentally? And it's not just studying your market, but studying and understanding how you can better serve your clients. What is it that you're doing physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally to become the best version of yourself possible? When you improve yourself now, your future improves as well. The N stands for notice people. Listen, we walk through life a lot of times and we're in these situations and all the people that we should be able to serve are right around us, we just don't notice it. Uh, we've got a few of our agents living on this coastal market. We've got one agent in particular that walks on the beach either in the morning or afternoon every single day. And as he walks, he notices people and talks to them. He just says, hey, where are you guys from? He talks to them about how long they've been coming to our market and ultimately it leads to his opportunities to generate relationships that lead to business. No matter where you find yourself, opportunity is all around. Notice the people that are around you, and I promise they're going to notice your business as well. The G stands for give without expectation. So what is it that you can do to better serve the community that you've been placed in, the community that really feeds your family? Can you get involved in a local charity? Can you serve in a capacity on maybe your local association or it's your local chamber of commerce or a local charity that you have a little bit of passion for? Whatever it is, when you give back to your community and you do it without expectation, not only is it do something that maybe gives you some positive, that's not why we should be doing this. Ultimately, we're doing this because this is who you were created to be. You're created to serve the people around you. And by serving the people around you, you're going to be the best version of yourself. The fourth step is to build systems because what we're trying to do is, is not just do the business that is in front of us, but we're preparing for that future growth. We're wanting to prepare in a way that we've got the capacity to handle that growth. Building systems is the way to do that. I always like to think of it this way. I wanted to put one new system into my business each and every month. I understood that I couldn't do it all at one time, so I wanted to have this goal on an annual basis to put at least 12 systems into my business. What are those systems for you? It depends on where your business is. For me, I really broke it down before I, when I planned for my next year, I said, what are the 12 to 15 systems I would love to have in place at the end of this year? I wanted to have a follow-up program for past clients like I'd never had before. I wanted to have a process that was a listing process that once I took the listing, I had a checklist of exactly what happened, not only for my file, but also for the marketing and for the follow-up with the client that made sure that I drove that relationship home, that this one transaction was going to lead to additional opportunities. I, I thought about things that I wanted to have in my business like a transaction transaction checklist. In other words, something that I would have a process where when the contract went under contract, here's exactly what I did. I thought about having it where everything was systemized in a way that I could step away from it. Someone could see the system, see the plan of action, and they could execute on it for me. Think of your business as a process of systems. When you add these systems, it not only gives you the capacity to get where you are now to the next step, but it also gives you the ability to start building a platform that can handle all the business and the future growth that you you know that is coming. Last but not least is win today. We can't re rewrite what happened in the past, but we can write our future. We can't control what's going to happen tomorrow. We can't control what happened in the past, but we can control what we do today that leads to future successes. John Maxwell in his book Today Matters says it this way, your future success is a direct result of your daily agenda. So what's on your agenda? When you get home tonight, will you lay your head on, in your, on your pillow and will you thank yourself and know that you moved the ball forward? When we focus on our daily activities and accomplishing our daily goals day after day, consistently week after week, month after month, year after year, the future is absolutely going to be brighter than our past. I hope this has been helpful and I'll talk to you soon.
Thanks for watching the video. I specifically chose the video below for you because it builds on the one you just watched. I hope it's helpful and I'll talk to you soon.